listen, nothing's wrong with you. You got to get you got to get that straight in your mind. Uh, my name is Doug Dame, and too many people struggle in life because they've got a mistaken identity. Uh, life is way too hard. It can be a lot simpler. And if you don't feel confident to succeed in your life, your mistaken identity is probably causing you problems. And my book explains what your mistaken identity is and how it's running you and causing you to make the mistakes that you're making in your life. So here's a daily tip so you can live better. Because make no mistake, I, I believe you deserve better. Um, if you're asking yourself this question, what's wrong with me, uh, you're likely not getting an answer. Why? Because there's nothing wrong with you. Um, you just had that question run through your mind um, over and over for a long time. It started when you know the adults were asking you what's wrong with you. You took that on, and you've been probably asking yourself that question for a long time, and you never, ever get an answer. Why? Because there's nothing wrong with you. But let's talk about um, why you feel like there is something wrong with you. Um, uh, you were asked that by other people, uh, the, the parents, the teachers, you know, at church, your religious leaders, people who are influencing you, um, they kept asking you, what's wrong with you? And you thought they must be right and you must be wrong. And the reason they were asking you what's wrong with you is because you weren't doing what was right, according to them, according to their rules, values, beliefs, bias, prejudice, conditioning, all that stuff, their judgment of you was causing them to say, what the hell's wrong with you? And because they were asking that, and they're the parents and they're the adults, you started thinking, maybe there's something wrong with me. Maybe they're right. The truth is, um, they were wrong in a lot of cases. Um, other people ask you that when you do things or say things that they feel aren't right as far as they are concerned. Okay, so all the people that uh, are watching you and judging you and, and criticizing you, uh, whatever their viewpoint is, their perception, okay, is going to be how they judge what you do as whether it's right or wrong. So it's always as far as they are concerned. And what's right as wrong, what's right and wrong as far as they're concerned is based on what was right and wrong as far as their parents were concerned and their parents and their parents and so on. And, you know, generationally, bit by bit, we let go of some of these things that are wrong. But fundamentally, there's a lot of things wrong with what you think is is right and those other people they think they're right and you're wrong and they go what's wrong with you why did you do that why did you say that why do you think that how could you say that they 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 perpetuate this question so when you're young you got hammered with the question and then other people they got hammered with the same question they're asking the same question what's wrong with them and in order to make themselves feel better that there's nothing wrong with them they ask what's wrong with you so they feel right and you feel wrong it's such a it's such a dumb game um you also made mistakes because of how you were raised and the ones that made the mistakes in raising you started asking you what's wrong with you because of your behaviors. So you know, you're, you're doing things when you're little, you're making mistakes, you got certain behaviors and they're asking you what's wrong with you. And you know, even your adult life, you're, you're making mistakes and you're doing things um, because of how you were raised, right? That's what's wrong. The very ones that raised you wrong, causing you to do the things that you did, are asking you what's wrong with you. That's plain wrong. Um, let's talk about what's really wrong. Um, it's wrong that parents aren't taught properly how to parent. Uh, it's wrong that your parents screwed it up um, and now you're just trying to get it right. But listen, your parents did the best that they could, I presume, most in most cases. That's not true in every case. Some parents are doing a terrible job uh, and they're aware of it or they don't really care they're doing a terrible job. They're so angry, they're, they're victimized, they just, they have such hate on for, you know, big brother and the institution and whatever, whatever they're angry about and they take it out on their children. That's just uh, plain wrong. That might've happened, uh, that might've happened to you. And uh, you're trying to, if you're a parent now, you're trying to sort of let as much of that go as you, you can. Uh, it's wrong that the self-help industry uh, feeds off billions of dollars being spent to tell you that there's something wrong with you and then what they offer doesn't even work. I, I've got a real problem with this industry because it's just it's perpetuated for so long 
this feeling that there's something wrong with you. You got to fix something. You got to you got to fix yourself. And they promise that they've got the answer, and it doesn't actually work. That's definitely was fueling this idea that something wrong with you. Maybe there's nothing wrong with you at all. Maybe there's just something wrong with the book you're reading. Maybe there's something wrong with the person you're following. Maybe there's something wrong with the things that you believe because you 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 weren't confident in yourself or you weren't secure in yourself or you just weren't quite sure of yourself so you started following other people blindly um, or maybe just in an effort to be liked and to be accepted or to be validated, whatever whatever it is. Um, it, it, it's wrong that we're being uh, manipulated and controlled uh, by social media and entertainment giants. Uh, I mean, there's the, there's the writer's strike and the actor's strike going on right now. There's lots of dialogue going on on social media uh, and in the news. And, you know, a lot of the actors and, and writers are talking about, you know, these big corporations that basically, you know, run, you know, the media and entertainment industry. And that is not a good thing. Um, social media um, and uh, entertainment is definitely manipulating and controlling us. Now, you're letting it. Okay, you do have the ability to turn off the phone, not turn on the TV, but we are so drawn in. It's it's all around us. It's it's very difficult to resist. So you know, give yourself a bit of credit. Give yourself a bit of grace. Don't give yourself too hard of a time uh, that you are being manipulated and controlled. You have the ability to control your own thinking. It does take a decision to do that. It does take some practice. It is a habit you have to form. Um, and because we're so habitual, social media and the entertainment industry just knows how to move us around the chessboard. Um, it's wrong that you believe some of the things that you do. Listen, if, um, if you're stuck or you're struggling, you're trying to get ahead and things just aren't working for you, chances are you have some beliefs that um, just don't suit you. They definitely don't suit what you're trying to pursue. Uh, some of the things you believe just aren't even true. And so that's just, uh, that's just wrong. And it's wrong that people instill you know, what they think is right and wrong and their beliefs upon you um, because that just continues to perpetuate this idea as to what's wrong with you and what's really wrong is they're doing that to you. Um, it's wrong that so-called influencers are spreading the wrong message. I'm on a mission to change the minds of the influencers and the messages they're putting out because there's influencers out there that have millions of people following them. You know, some people following like this. Literally, your jaw hanging open, your eyes fixed on a screen, and you're scrolling. You're just drifting through social media. Uh, and you're being influenced by what people um, say and, and do. It's this herd mentality. Um, and the bottom line, it, it's wrong that you don't feel good about yourself because you're comparing yourself when you go on to, to, to social media onto your phone. And so I just think it's plain wrong that you're afraid to be yourself. And because of that, you think there's something wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. You're never going to get an answer to that question. Stop asking it. What's wrong is you're trying to fix yourself rather than being yourself. So I hope that you'll take a look um, at this question much differently. Rather than asking what's wrong with me, why don't you start asking yourself some really good questions as to what's wrong with what you believe or what's wrong with what you're listening to or what's wrong uh, with what or who you're influenced by. That's probably a better idea. That will clear up your mistaken identity and you'll feel a hell of a lot better about yourself. Thank you.